Well, hey there, welcome. You know, you seem like the kind of person who appreciates great sound. So naturally you demand a lot from your headphones. You want the best, right? Well, you have come to the right place. Hey there, I'm Caleb Dennison for Digital Trends and that cheesy intro was brought to you by coffee. Coffee. I've had way too much of it. Okay, enough of that nonsense. Let's get down to the business of laying out the best headphones you can buy in 2020 so far. This list will change later this year and we'll have to shoot another video, but for now, these are all really solid picks. We test tons of headphones every year. Many of us are musicians. Some of us musicians who travel a lot. Some musicians who exercise a lot. I'm definitely not one of those people. Some of us have kids, some of us game, and wouldn't you know it, there's a headphone out there for just about every need. So before we get to the very best headphones you can buy, let's look at the best in a series of categories, and we start with the best earbuds you can buy under a hundred bucks. That honor goes to the one more triple driver earbuds. These things have no business sounding so refined at this price point. In fact, they redefine what you should expect from any headphone under $100. The name refers to the fact that there are three individual transducers in each bud, and they've been expertly tuned to sound like a three or $400 pair of headphones. They're comfortable, compact, there's an inline mic included, and at 80 bucks, they are a no brainer. Get them. Next, let's talk about the best true wireless earbuds, and our choice might surprise you. Right now, we're going with the Amazon Echo Buds. Yes, I know there are far better sounding true wireless earbuds, and if you wanna spend a lot more, go for it. But we like these because they are true wireless buds that everybody can get behind and most can afford. At just 130 bucks, you get solid sound quality, Bose noise reduction, good call quality, and well, average battery life at about five hours with another 15 hours of charging coming from the case. For the price, you can't beat this feature set. Now, a close second in my opinion is the Samsung Galaxy Buds Plus with an insane 11 hours of playtime per charge and decent sound and a very compact bud. They don't sound as good as Amazon's buds, but they get the job done and they're also only 150 bucks. Next up are the Apple AirPods Pro, which are the best buds for iPhone users. But honestly, if you have the money and can wait to get a pair, since they are chronically out of stock, do it because, and I still can't believe I'm saying this about an Apple earbud, these things are awesome. The active noise canceling is best in its class. They are pretty comfortable. Battery life is about average and the sound quality is more than acceptable. I actually like it just fine. Audio file grade? No, that's for the next set of buds. But overall, these are some of the highest performing pair of true wireless buds you can get right now. And for most folks, they tick all the right boxes. If you are serious about sound, I mean you want the best sound you can get from a pair of wireless buds with decent battery life and really solid noise canceling, then you want to look at the Sony WF-1000XM3. These are luxurious and like I said, the sound quality is fantastic. So if that's your number one requirement, buy with confidence. Oh, and you'll need about 200 bucks for the pleasure. That's a lot of buds, but how about some full-size cans? Well, for music lovers, we're all about the Sennheiser HD650, which you can also get from Massdrop as the HD6XX. For $200, these things sound amazing. It's everything you expect from Sennheiser in the sound quality department for a shockingly low price. They are open backed headphones, so not the best pick for office use. People will hear what you're listening to, but the open back design allows for extremely airy, transparent, and open sound with solid bass and a mid-range that is so pure, you'll feel like you're hearing your favorite singers for the first time. Got kids? Get them these. I got these for my kids and they love them. These are the Puro Sound Labs Puro Quiet Cans and they will not only protect your kids' ears, but they shut out the outside world with active noise canceling, all in a kid-sized wireless headphone. They come in three colors, they sound great, and they're a hundred bucks. I mean, what more do you need? 
Now for the best of the best. This may come as no surprise as they top a lot of headphone lists. They are, of course, the Sony WH-1000XM3. Right now, you can get them for about $300, and the best endorsement I can give them are that they are my personal favorite. I take these everywhere. I fly a lot, the noise canceling is outstanding, the sound quality is fantastic, the battery life is excellent, there's almost nothing I don't like about these. I will say that the one thing that tends to disappoint people is that they only connect to one device at a time. Also, this pigtail charging cable is virtually useless. These are the two things I want Sony to address with the next version of these headphones, which will come out later this year. Even when the next version does come out though, I'm still going to be suggesting these because the price will go down while supplies last, making them an even better slam dunk. I will say that if you're a hardcore business type who takes a lot of phone calls with your headphones, you might want to check out the Bose ANC 700. They are super comfy, they sound great, have excellent noise canceling, but most importantly, they do phone calls really well. The Sonys just aren't that great at that. Couple of honorable mentions. For workout headphones, check out the JLab Epic Air Sport or the Jabra Elite Active 75T. Both are excellent waterproof solid fitting options with lots of fitness perks built in. Also, for you gamers out there, we are big fans of the Astro A50, which sound incredible, have an excellent mic, and are comfortable enough to wear all day, which you probably will. That's our list, folks. What do you think? Leave a comment down below about your favorite headphones. Like, subscribe, ring that notification bell, and always visit digitaltrends.com for the latest tech news and reviews.